Okay, so today I'm looking at a question posed by Juan Manuel Figueroa. Um, a sequential access file contains records whose fields are separated by a dollar sign. Which of the following reads a record from the file and assigns the fields to the customer array? Um, and we're presented with four choices. Um, and if you know what's going on, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Also, I noticed uh, in the question here, there's a space that shouldn't be there. Um, between these C's, um, but don't worry, I corrected in my code. Um, so to start out, I made this uh, text file um, where I just separated a bunch of words with dollar signs. Um, where they can just like uh, add some, oops, add some stuff to it just to show you that it's being updated in life. Um, and then I made this very simple uh, program to show what's going on. I made a button, and when you click it, it's going to populate, it's going to read from that text file, separate it all out by the dollar signs, and then populate the list box with the contents of the array, which I defined here as a 10 member array, um, a string array, right? So basically what I'm doing is I'm opening the file, I should put a space there. Um, I'm opening the file as, you know, a stream reader, um, and then I'm opening this file specifically. Um, and then I have the four choices here. And you'll notice that it's already giving me errors, which you can see down here. Uh, expression expected, character is not valid, split is not a member of stream reader, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I have the the for each loop that just basically adds all of those to the, uh, the list box that I created. Um, so, I mean, three of these have uh, errors and one doesn't, so that kind of makes, uh, you know, makes the option obvious, <laughs> you know, the correct answer obvious, it's B. Um, which is which is this one right here. That one is the correct answer, which is B. Um, but let me just explain why the other ones are incorrect. Uh, so the first one, the dollar sign, is not in quotation marks. So it's um, it's just trying to read it literally as some piece of code, and it just can't do that. I mean, it does it doesn't do anything. So we're gonna comment this one out. Nope. Yep. And the second one is correct, uh, as you can see, it looks lovely. And then the the last two have the exact same problem, is that we we aren't actually reading a line. We never actually tell it to read a line. We're just you know telling it to split um, the in file object, this IO stream reader object, which is is not a method that is associated with. Um, type io.streamreader, so those don't work. Um, and you can see that down there. Split is not a member of streamreader, right? So we're going to comment those all out, save everything, run this, and you'll see that it works. So if we go, so it's, yeah, okay. So if you go back to the test file, tuna fish is good for you to eat, right? And you remember I modified that. Let's save this in case. We're going to, tuna fish is good for you to eat. So uh, you can see that works um and you know if i add something else there right hooray you'll see that oh you know why because i ran out of words or maybe i didn't save this oh right because haha -ha, this is why you need to close your file right because we've now left this hook open in file.close haha -ha, that's my own fault here right in file.close let's run this again <laughs> Whoops, so we left the file hook open there, so we've got tuna fish is good for you to eat, and good for you, let's delete these and just say hooray, we're going to save this, and you'll notice tuna fish is good for you, hooray, and I didn't clear, of course I didn't clear the text box, so we're just getting it twice, but anyway, so that's the answer, um, the answer is B. Uh, customer equals in file dot read line dot split and then the dollar sign quotation mark C. And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed.